What was really interesting uh, this morning was hearing the Director General talk about the three necessary uh, stages to mobilise private sector investment in renewables, uh, openness, transparency and regulatory certainty. And I think I was really heartened to hear that uh, from, the, from the podium because if the transition to renewables, if this massive shift in global energy use is to occur, it can only occur through the mobilisation of very large amounts of private sector investment. And that investment won't happen unless uh, we have the, uh, the right signals, as it were, from governments that they, their markets are open to that investment. So I think the opportunities are, are global. I mean, the publication today of the report on the geopolitics of the energy transition makes that very clear. Uh, every country is going to go through this uh, transition from hydrocarbons to renewable energy. Uh, and the private sector will be involved in all of those countries because that transition can't be delivered unless uh, uh, those countries can mobilise investment either internally or from overseas investment. Uh, it, it, it is uh, a long-term investment, uh, so um, it provides both uh, much-needed electricity domestically and the, the great advantage of renewable energy, of course, it can be built quickly, it's reliable, it's efficient, it's cheap, uh, so it will help bring down the cost of electricity to consumers uh, domestically, it will allow countries to expand, to grow their industries, to develop economically, but at the same time it provides long-term income to those um, entities within a country that, for example, want to invest and uh, have to pay pensions or pay long-term investments, so it's very attractive to pension funds infrastructure funds and the like. Uh, so you see, uh, you see private sector involvement from the beginning of the process, from the development of projects, right through to the ownership of, of the asset. And at every stage, uh, the private sector can work with governments to provide both much needed electricity, to provide uh, cheap electricity, but also to provide long-term investment returns to pension funds and investors locally who need those uh, returns in that kind of shape of, of asset class. I think the Coalition for Action is crucially important because IRENA has uh, created a really effective role in bringing governments together to uh, talk about the best practice for the transition to the new, uh, the new energy future, um, but that future can't be delivered unless we mobilise very large amounts of private sector investment. So the Coalition brings the private sector to engage with uh, the government public sector that uh, are here at the Arena General Assembly. And I think what I'd like to see the coalition do as we go forward, as we, as we build out its work, is to provide um, uh, meaningful opportunities for governments to provide best practice to governments as they look to see how to mobilise that investment. And also perhaps to um, to reassure governments that uh, renewable energy uh, is cheap, uh, it's effective, can provide the kind of electricity they want uh, to provide to their citizens and for their industries.